So as I often do around here, I changed my mind and decided to do a little bit more of that. And uh, what we're going to get started on is the router table portion of this build. So I've got my long aluminum tray edge. I've got my marks made. So where I'm going to down. are going to go ahead and cut this out. It'll be very nice when the new saw is done, the new table is all done, and we have power running through that, so we don't have to deal with these anymore. One nice thing about having an outside shop, dust collection, not an issue. got to cut the length that I want it. This here was just to cut it to the width that we're going to finally need it at. And what we're going to do is this is going to be the top, the bottom, and the back of this router cabinet that's going to go on top of the torsion box. And what we want to do just like on the torsion box, we're going to route a dado in here with the center section. So what I wanted to do is do it all at the same time when the board is still together so that we know everything lines up exactly. So that's what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and line everything up, get the router out, route some quarter inch deep uh, by three quarter inch dados in here, and then we can get uh, go ahead and cut down to the three boards that we need out of here. We've got everything set up now. We can start routing the dados. We can use our key right over your router here. Start cutting. And then what I'll do is I'll actually put a spacer in here to push it out. And then that way, that's how I get my full depth that I need without having to move our bar here. I got some more done on the uh, on the router table portion of everything, and what I did was I left this as one big sheet, cut all of our dados lengthwise, all four of them. Then I cut the boards down, and I ran a dado on the edge of the top piece and the bottom pieces. This is our back. It'll sit right here. as such and that way we'll have a divider running all the way along here and then over there and this center section is where our router will sit um, if all goes well I'll also be making a router lift to go in here um, that's my plan for right now again woodworking with ADD you never know um, for those who aren't aware yet, our torsion box down here and this whole table saw that's going to be replacing our current table saw is going to be 100% modular when finished. So what that means is rather than right now where the table saw is down at the end and then we've got all this outfeed table and the storage underneath that was never used. 
what I'm trying to do here is this here now will be our router section which will just bolt on to the torsion box base. This torsion box base is going to replace this bottom torsion box base that was made with 2 by 4s um, is going to actually bolt onto it and then there will be another section of drawers at the other side and you'll have your table saw in the middle and if at any point in time I feel like changing anything up that I didn't like how it was I will be able to unbolt it possibly move things around kind of like a big jigsaw puzzle definite problem with using your phone to uh, record your videos is that when somebody calls well it kind of stops the video I guess okay so anyway yes our top our back and our bottom here um, not sure what kept from the video and what didn't with the phone ringing so forgive me if I kind of reiterate anything but anyway our torsion box everything's gonna bolt to it if anything needs to be replaced ever it'll be the top uh, but otherwise every other section should be able to be moved around and uh, and used wherever we need it uh, I'm not hope you know my plan is not to change this thing up every day every week every month uh, I'm hoping to put it together and like the way it is and keep it uh, but in the event that anything needs to ever be changed we'll be able to just unbolt that section pull it out replace it with a new section maybe change the top a bit and keep on going so this way here if ever the router station doesn't work I can just pull it out if ever the back side of the torsion box where I'm gonna have drawers um, if I decide well I want to go cabinets instead of drawers pull it out put in a new one in the middle here where the table saw will be if ever it's gotten to the point where my table saw is wore out I get a newer one better one whatever it might be I can just go ahead unbolt that pull it out shake take the drawers that I'm gonna have underneath it out make a new section and slide it in and away we go the whole time keeping this torsion box going and not having to change that portion out that's my hope not sure how well that's gonna go only time will tell like I say this current saw table it has lasted now probably a good four or five years maybe even a little bit more than that and it's done very well uh, I can't complain it's the second version of it that I built uh, I will be using the wheels again on this section here why not they're still going they don't see a lot of mileage so, <laughs> so I don't think they're gonna wear out on me and uh, so that's our update anyway on our router station hopefully I'll get more on this done next week uh, I'm going to make all four the uh, sides and the two center pieces are all going to be the same size uh, the only difference is the in the middle there will be a drawer um, down near the bottom uh, just a few inches up I don't feel that I need because this here is going to be roughly 20 inches 21 inches something like that high I don't feel I need that much space uh, for the router or the router lift uh, so I think a nice small drawer at the bottom for router bits uh, should work just fine along the sides I think I'm gonna have one section that will be a cabinet and maybe one section of drawers maybe both sections will be drawers I don't know yet that's the great thing about doing things this way is I still have a chance to change my mind on how I want to do it so that's our update for tonight hope you all had a good weekend and uh, we'll see you again next week